Hey everyone, Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, August 27, 2018. I hope you're doing well. My username, my, my handle on Twitter is Crypto Recruiter. That's what I do. I am a cryptocurrency and blockchain recruiter, recruiting executives and engineers. And I've mentioned it before on this channel, a couple things. Number one, it's so tough to find clients in this space that are building a viable product or platform that is actually doing something that has a viable use case that's going to impact the world in one way or another. And number two, um, I mentioned to you that I'm going to start covering and start kind of throwing out there some of these clients that I've worked with in the past that are actually making a difference, that are actually building something that I 100% think is going to have a viable use case in the real world. So here it is, the first video that I'm going to do on a client of mine, a past client in another enterprise uh, that I was able to search for and number two, I just want to throw this out there. I was not compensated in any way in doing this video. I just want to let you know that I was not compensated for doing this video. I reached out to Michael, the founder, and I just told him I kind of want to go over this with uh, you guys, my subscribers on YouTube, because I said I would. I said I would start covering these clients. So here's Block Medex, and uh, I interviewed Michael Brunner. Quick little interview to really get a sense of what he's working, what he's working on a valuable perspective for you to kind of get an idea of what some of these blockchain projects are working on and how they might impact the world. So before I jump into that interview, let's just kind of go over who they are and what they're doing. And really Block MedX is building a secure e-prescribing platform for physicians to prescribe, pharmacists to fill, and patients to manage prescriptions. So their mission is on a mission, they're on a mission for social impact, the opioid crisis has ruined millions of lives and cost thousands more. Prevention through a network redesign and advanced analytics allows for early intervention when it matters most. Block MedX intends to evolve into a fully functional, trustless, and secure prescription platform that transmits and analyzes all types and classes of drugs. So before we kind of get into the interview in a minute or two, Here's the problem laid out on their website, uh, annual costs, deaths, antiquated prescription systems, easily altered prescriptions, right? There's so many different pain points in this space. And you can see the progression of opioid crisis from 1999 to 2015. You can see this widespread problem. And so we're going to talk about how this blockchain platform, BlockMedX, could potentially help in, in solving this problem. And you can see opioid overdoses increased by roughly 30% across the U.S. in just 14 months between 2016 and 17, according to a new report. So we're going to jump into the interview. There was an article that I just came across that came out a few days ago, and I'll put a link in the description. It really speaks to a, to a, a handful of the, the pain points in terms of this space. So... Many factors contribute to this highly complex problem, but a few key issues stand out. So number one is lack of transparency in, in this space, right? Suppliers, drug manufacturers, manufacturers, doctors, pharmacists, ill-informed patients all bear some responsibilities. Number two, meddlesome, meddlesome middlemen. Number three, lack of data integrity. And this is a point that is really, it really hits home in terms of blockchain startups that can really lend a hand uh, through their platforms in changing different industries, not just medical, right? Not just, not just prescription, like we're gonna go over in this video, but many different industries. The data integrity problem is so large and the blockchain can really help solve that issue in so many different ways. Uh, and then number four, misaligned incentives. So, you know, you can see what, what they wrote here we're moving towards value-based uh, healthcare, which is good, value-based care. Medical services and drugs are still mostly reimbursed on the volume-based model. So the intentions of some might not be the best, and that's another issue uh, in this space. But let's jump in. Let's kind of go over the Block MedX interview that I did with Michael. Um, and I emailed him and I just said, I really wanna share what you're working on with my audience. And you know, he was very, very agreeable and excited to do so. So let's go over it. It's a four minute read. I'll post a link in the description, um, but let's kind of look look at what perspective and, and what he is actually working on, Michael Brunner. So my first question 
for, you know, I said for the market, getting to know the team is often overlooked, but in my opinion, very important. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I know you have a doctorate in pharmacy, but what else is it that led you down this path? I think it's always important to understand where these founders came from, what inspired them, what motivated them. So Mike said, sure, absolutely. I played defensive end for the University of Wisconsin and got my doctor of pharmacy from the University of Iowa. I practiced pharmacy at a management level before founding Block MedX in early 2017. In my pharmacy practice, I noticed a lot of the security and identity holes inherent in the current prescription system and identified the perfect fit for blockchain technology to fill these gaps. I'd been following the space for several years prior and eventually it just clicked. My co-founder Alex is a board certified physician and trained at John Hopkins for residency and for a fellowship in informatics. He worked for McKinsey and healthcare analytics before coming to Block MedX. So right off the bat, you get a little sense of Michael um, and, and his co-founder, extremely bright, uh, really, really awesome academic backgrounds. But they, I mean, they just saw a very important problem in the space that they have those backgrounds in. So I asked, your mission is simple and screams itself apart from much of the blockchain industry to save lives, right? You don't see that many blockchain startups that are, their mission is to save lives. I, I thought that was uh, very interesting and intriguing. And I just said, can you explain that mission? He says, as a founding team consisting of healthcare providers, our focus is first on the health and well-being of patients. We're focused on delivering products that can be used to improve patient health and outcomes and potentially save lives from the opioid crisis. Block MedX was founded with a purpose and everything we do is focused on delivering that value to the market. So in, in my opinion, that is huge. That mission is really foundational to what he's doing. And I, you know, I could assume I would bet that it's what drives them and it's what motivates them on a daily basis in, in making this platform work. Uh, number three, I was just kind of curious. I asked about HIPAA compliance um, just because I know it's a very big issue in this space. And I just wanted to find out if there were any, any challenges. And he said, HIPAA compliance is a concern that everyone deals with in the health tech space, especially in software. However, we're fortunate that blockchain technology is uniquely able to be secure and compliant with regard to these regulations. Next question, I said, I'm curious to the, I'm curious of the smart analytics aspect of your platform. More and more of my clients are utilizing machine learning and AI for data, and this has become increasingly powerful. Can you give an example of how this plays into setting up alerts for early intervention? I think it's a, a key part of their platform. So his answer is another one of the benefits of blockchain technology is the ability to collect clean data that is perfect for running quality analytics. One of the barriers to effective analytics models is the avail availability of quality data on which to run those analytics. An example for our use case is the potential ability to identify patients earlier in their addiction journey who may be at increased risk of having a problem with addiction. We're developing models to provide automated alerts with patient risk profiles based on real-time transaction data on the blockchain. I mean, that's, that's awesome. Being able to kind of detect early on and a possible addiction forming and getting that early intervention. Uh, something that technology is lending its hand to. So next question, as I've learned and grown in this space as a recruiter, one thing I've gotten better at is spotting blockchain startups that have value and those that do not, which is what I kind of talked about at the open. I know why I believe Block MedX is offering value to a much needed ecosystem, but can you explain in your words what separates Block MedX in terms of what it will offer? So his answer, very interesting. The current prescription system as it stands now has major issues preventing any significant additional value add. Data is not interoperable. 80% of prescriptions are still written on paper with handwritten signatures. Electronic data is, is siloed in individual healthcare organizations and is of poor quality. We're looking to provide a secure, interoperable, and transparent prescription record that can be used to provide more comprehensive information to prescribe and prescribers and regulators. By cutting out the middlemen and rent seekers in the market, we're able to lower costs and provide a superior solution. I just wanna throw out there, 
cutting out the middleman. And he, it's obviously, you can see exactly why it works in this case, but in so many of my blockchain startup clients, cutting out the middleman is a huge, huge bonus and a huge factor that the blockchain is going to be good at. And uh, this is a perfect example. So next question, key partnerships are probably extremely important as you roll out. What is your approach in terms of those partnerships and getting your platform adopted and integrated into this particular ecosystem, right? That's a question we all have, like, you know, obviously we have blockchain startups, right? And they're, they're building their platforms, but getting the platforms integrated into the real world, that's like that key step. So uh, his answer also interesting. He says, we're in ongoing discussions with state governments and large academic medical centers and have additionally been speaking with foreign governments that are interested in our solution. Interest in what we're working on has been overwhelming as many areas all over the world are in need of what we're working on. We've been making strategic connections to facilitate some of these relationships. We hope to have some major upcoming news about some large scale pilot projects that will be part of an exciting wave of adoption for our platform. And finally, we've partnered with Wanchain as a member of the first Wanlabs cohort to assist in the development of our solution and to help drive adoption worldwide. Number, or I guess second to last question, I said, I know you had private sale in quarter two and are planning on public token sale this quarter. And probably many of you are wondering and asking the same question. When can anyone interested expect to have access to the Black MedX token sale and what is your outlook on being listed on any major exchanges? So his answer, we had actually originally planned the token sale in quarter two, like you mentioned, however, had decided to postpone it pending some business development considerations. We're targeting the end of August for the start of our pre-sale, which interested parties can find more information about on our website and register for our whitelist. The public sale will follow shortly after the sale is not available to US, Canadian, or Chinese citizens residents. Last question, what's next for Block MedX? We have some large partnerships coming up that we're excited to announce in the coming months with academic medical centers and state foreign governments. I'm really interested and curious to see uh, what these partnerships are. And uh, so stay tuned for that. And he says, stay tuned to our social media and website for further announcements and to join us in our journey. So you can go to their Telegram, you can go to their Twitter, follow them on Twitter. And then obviously I will put links to all these things below in the description. And I highly, uh, highly suggest if you're interested in this project and what they're working on and wanna get a better grasp on how this applies to the real world and what this, what this integration of a blockchain type of platform looks like into the real world, go to their website. Their website is really, really nice awesome interface and you really get a sense of how it works the steps involved in what they're building it's very simple to understand they lay it out beautifully really nice illustrations and great descriptions on what they're working on so that's block medx i you know thank you mike for just kind of letting me you know you know throw some questions your way really interested in where you guys are going with this great job so far as i mentioned it's very tough to find startups in this space that are doing something that has the viable use, use case. In my opinion, you guys definitely do. Curious to see what you all think out there. Let me know your thoughts on Block MedX. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I will put all these links below in the description. Let's stay tuned. Let's see where they go with this. But obviously, awesome platform, awesome vision, awesome mission. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Appreciate all of you for watching. As always, I will see you in the next video. And God bless.